So we are going to have to change to an ultra value play here with Deathstalker. We probably never play Yasharaj. Um, this is unfortunate as well. Our opponent's Northshire. If this is Satellite, we might just get right over. Like if our opponent plays the 2-2 that buffs, I think we lose. Tar Creeper's also really bad. What could we get that would be good? Uh, Catrick is a card. The issue is, if this is Satellite, which it very well might be, Emerald Spellstone's kind of bad. Because Duskbreaker just wipes it out so, so hard for one mana less. Right now our hero power is doing nothing, which is also bad. This never gets triggered. Oh, there are just bad things. Um, how do we do this? I think this is going to be okay. So I'm going to go in on this right now. The plan is then on turn five, we're going to Emerald Spellstone. Greater Emerald Spellstone, excuse me. And then on turn six, we're going to go for value with our Deathstalker. We still don't know. Our opponent might be Highlander. I actually wonder then if this, if this, if the ladder change is going to make me want to play more try-hard decks. Like strong, really strong meta decks every once in a while. Because all you need is to do like, just push for like a week. All I need to do is push for a couple streams, right? And then I don't have to worry about it at all because I know we'll basically get the vast majority of those ranks back. You know what I mean? I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be really, really good. Like, if we're able to push then to rank 5 eventually, and, oh, oh, well, that's the board clear. Um, I think we just go ahead for the Deathstalker right now. I feel like this is going to be the play that lets us win. Again, we don't know if our opponent is, even still could be Dragon Highlander, could be Pure Dragon, could be OTK Inner Fire Dragon. There's lots of different things that could be happening, but all we know is we have massive value coming down every single turn now. Which at the end of the day, might be very, very important for us. And I feel like it will be, because uh, we didn't hit our... We, we drew we drew Yasharaj, so the Barnes plays out of is out of commission. And against our opponent, who knows? They haven't really played that much, so they might have had some... They might have had some ways to deal with it. Oh, what is this again? Oh, Secret Agents. That is a Secret Agent. Whoa, that was a really quick pick as well. That's really... That's kind of scary. Let's go, build a beast. Um, let's summon this. Okay, I can do this. I can live with this right now. So I think this is okay in my mind to leave this right now. This is obviously not super strong, but I just wanted something on board, which is why I took these. Obviously, the trade here is very poor for us. But then we'll see what happens, because we are still going to get the 3-2. And we don't have anything for our, our opponent to Potion of Madness into. And we will get a cat trick that will eventually trade with our opponent's Drac OP. There we go. Hey, Animal Companion. Oh, no. The worst Animal Companion for us. Okay, so we took a bunch of damage, but I think this is honestly okay. Uh, Because we can Hunter's Mark and then trade trade. And then we're still going to be able to do this. Ooh, a uh, random beast or shuffling? Uh, let's take Flappy Bird. Maybe something hilarious happens. Oh, yes. Oh, we can't do it all, and that's okay. So we can do this. This. Fully upgraded. Thank you. Do I want to take the four damage? We don't need to take the four damage. We can actually just go face. And then we're very happy getting Zombeast with a charge here to adapt every time we hit face. Because we could potentially be looking for some crazy lethal setup for next turn. Ooh, this game has gotten... This game has taken a turn that we were not really expecting. So if our opponent wants a Duskbreaker, they lose their board. Any of their A... Well, I guess... I guess they wouldn't Holy Nova. Holy Nova would be honestly very silly. So I would not expect that sort of thing to be coming down. They obviously make the trade, then play into... 
and then play into the explosive because, you know. Whoa. Whoa, what is happening here, friends? Four plus three. This is minimum four damage. Yeah, Flappy Bird with charge is kind of awesome, right? Please, Wind Fury. Wind Fury. Uh, we'll take a stealth then. The question is, do we just go in eight to face? And I think we do, and then this makes us regret. Oh, we could have done an adapt first. Oh, no, no, we're going to take this. Oh, wait, what did we take? We took a four mana, two, four. Um, four mana, four plus three. Do we want this? Or do we want the gastropod or the charge? Because this now becomes six face damage for five mana. I think we'll just do it this way. And this also, the fact that this is uh, a battle cry, we get through a taunt. Although, uh, they, could get, they could get an interesting piece of loot. <laughs> what a horror I've created. <laughs> yeah, this is a little terrifying. Whenever Flappy Bird gets uh, the, ch the charge off of uh, Tusk Break or what is it? Tusk Boar? Boar Tusk? Um, yeah, things can get a little, little bit silly there, but that's okay. That was, that was our game plan. The second we saw Yashiraj, we knew we needed, we knew we needed our Death Soccer XR to win. And you know what? Sometimes you get amazing things like this, and sometimes you get duds that do absolutely nothing. And you know what? This is one of those times where we're able to, to pick up a nice little win. So, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> On a win streak, too. Uh, turn 3, 14, 15. Uh, we do not want to do tracking. We just want to... If we could turn off draws now for a couple turns, I think we would be totally happy doing that. We want to top deck Lesser Emerald Spellstone now. That's also okay. Okay. And now we coin out Barnes, and then we should uh, have a good chance at winning. And the reason, just to be perfectly clear, Gladiator's Longbow is only in here... Because we do not own the uh, the uh, the hunter legendary. Oh wow! Oh no! No Yasharaj! No Yasharaj! Thank you. Does it matter? Does positioning matter? Ah, eh, we'll do it this way. We'll do positioning this way, even though I'm not sure that order is gonna matter. Oh, I wonder actually if Manatide could have drawn Yasharaj before Yasharaj pulled Yasharaj. And now we know our opponent cannot, cannot get a Vile Spine in on Yashiraj. Because we played the... Well, actually, they could have counterfeit coins. Never mind. We could get hit with a counterfeit coin. Five mana. Three, four right now. Which would be unfortunate. But we do still have ways to deal with the board. Spellbreaker, that's fine. Spellbreaker is... Spellbreaker is quite literally a non-issue. I think this is the best choice. I'm going to get rid of this. Even though it puts it down to one health. I just don't want to have to deal with anything else. Ooh, that would have been nice actually, wouldn't it? Would it have mattered? Oh, not if we were going to do flanking strike. Never mind. But we could have then... I think that's way too slow, friend. You're kind of coming up against... Although maybe they don't have any chance. Uh, or any choice, I should say. I think we just go all face. Rogues are not known for their massive healing. And, uh, yeah. I guess, actually, if we have lethal, we definitely should go all face. <laughs> that, was a, that was a ridiculously quick game. Like, if we hit our barns into Yashiraj and there's no answer, the game's just over in two turns, almost. And Hunter packs so much.